Dear distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to a special musical and dance gala, Rhythms and Shadows, offered by the Student Star Troop of Renmin University of China. It is prepared especially for the Confucius Institutes across the United States of America. We hope that today you can join us and cross over the space and time of 5,000 years through the dance and music from China. You get a glimpse of the splendid and grand tradition and culture of a nation situated on the west shore of the Atlantic Ocean through these two artistic performances. We also hope that you will be moved by the sincerity and passion of these Chinese young people during their performance. Before I give floor to these young artists, please allow me to briefly introduce the RUC Student Arts Troupe. It was established in 1990 and consists of seven groups. Chinese folk music orchestra, choir group, dance club, keyboard orchestra, symphony orchestra, drama group, and Peking opera group. The RUC Student Arts Group has participated in various art competitions on behalf of our university, both at home and abroad, and has performed around the world for many cultural exchange events. The troupe has won many prestigious awards in various national art competitions. Their presence at our campus has helped promote art education and appreciation, providing greater chances for students at RUC to learn, to participate in, and to contribute to various forms of arts and cultural experiences in this global age. Today's performance invites you to experience the charms of music and dance in Chinese traditional culture. There will be historical reflections of cultural development spanning the period of 5,000 years, as well as revealing the rich variety of folk cultures from different regions with the wide and breadth of the vast land of China. With no further ado, we announce the beginning of the 2016 Renmin University of China Rhythms and Shadows Gala for Confucius Institute at University of Massachusetts, Boston. The first performance to come is Bu Bu Kao, performed by the Folk Music Ensemble. These three Chinese characters, Bu Bu Kao, have formed a traditional idiom in our culture, offering best wishes to the audience, wishing you, your family, and your career an everlasting growth in the future, just like the plants that grow taller and taller day by day in the good soil. It also contains a sense of gratitude towards life and an anticipation of well-being in the future. The music is basically cheerful and becomes ever more vibrant as the piece progresses. It conveys our best wishes to you all who are present today. Please enjoy.
show us the joyful and optimistic side of Chinese traditional culture. And next, we will present to you another side of Chinese traditional culture. Combine very different aspects together in arts and literature is one of the essence of Chinese wisdom. Very soon you will see a group dance, the Black Ink, which interrogates many of the best loved traditional Chinese elements, such as pens, brushes, silk, martial arts, etc. Life is full of ups and downs, just like the movements of the dancers. Please enjoy the group dance, the Black Ink.
is traditionally called a heaven on earth. It's located in the southeastern part of China near Shanghai. Throughout the ages, the beauty of Suzhou has attracted countless writers and artists who have left a great many poems and literary works about this city. Our next program, Wu Su Xing, which means a tour in Suzhou, was composed by Chinese bamboo flautist and composer Mr. Jiang Xianwei after he visited Suzhou. This piece contains many elements of Queen-style opera, an ancient form of Chinese opera that originated in the Suzhou area. The composer not only expresses his delight in moving this work, but also constructs a world in front of us presenting the beauty of the Suzhou garden. Gardens in Suzhou have a history of more than 2,000 years, being mostly private gardens built by the Chinese intellectuals, who was also high officials in those days. These gardens generally embodied the aesthetical and philosophical spirit of the owners, who tried their best to design several picturesque scenes in a limited space. Flowers, bonsais, ponds, pavilions, rocks, paths, windows, and corridors are carefully constructed, and paintings, calligraphies, sculptures, ornaments are deliberately exhibited amongst them to reflect the unique feature of each garden. In 1980, a sample of Suzhou horticulture named Mingxuan was exhibited in the Metropolitan Museum in New York for the first time. Later, people in the States were able to see Suzhou gardens in many other cities, such as the beautiful China miniature scenic spot in Florida, Stanton Island, the Qixing Park in New York, and Lanzhou Park in Portland. These gardens have greatly contributed to the promotion of Chinese culture in the U.S. Now, let's experience the beauty of Suzhou Gardens in the melody of Wu Su Xin.
in the Han Dynasty. This classical dance, Taku, uh, is a form of Chinese traditional dance that originated in the Han Dynasty. Uh, through images preserved in caves, by pots, murals, brick paintings, we find that girls with slim waists and graceful steps were regarded as the heights of beauty in Han Dynasty. Such charms are fully expressed in the dance Taku. Please watch closely how the dancers move their shoulders, heads, arms, backs, knees, waists, and hips, because these gestures were originally discovered in paintings and later adopted into dance operas. In the flow of movements, dancers sway from side to side with their waists and hips to form a shape called three band reconstructing the grace of the young ladies of ancient times. Now, imagine on a bright sunny spring day in March, when the branches of willows are swaying in the breeze, a group of beautiful young ladies walk hand in hand on a lawn. They are so happy that they stand dancing. Here they come.
you will all agree with me at this point. Music and dance are universal languages human beings can share and understand without the help of words. Music and dance are not only ancient artistic forms, but also reflections of a person's lifestyle and philosophy. Our next program is closely related to an important Chinese concept, Tai Chi. The yin yang symbol contains two opposite colors, white and black, representing the forces of yin and yang. The two opposite strains interacting and mingling together in a peaceful way. This symbolic expression employs deep and complicated philosophical ideas, but Tai Chi is a form of physical exercise that shares its name with this symbol in Chinese, where it is called the Tai Chi or Tai Chi diagram. As a physical experience, it makes the philosophical ideas easier to ex experience personally and present. As a typical form of Chinese traditional martial arts, Tai Chi is a combination of traditional Chinese Confucian and Taoist philosophy, and it also helps to develop our thoughts, protect our health, and defend ourselves. The melody is played by a unique Chinese traditional instrument, Arhu, a two-string violin. Yin and Yang, the two-string violin, and Tai Chi combine together to present the profundity of Chinese philosophy in a vivid and striking way in the following piece, The Hero of Tai Chi. Please enjoy.
traveled through the long history of China and have seen the development and changes of Chinese culture. In the following performances, we hope to present to you the diver diversities of Chinese culture. China is a large country with the largest population that has 56 different ethnic minority peoples within its vast territory. Each ethnic people have their own art and culture unique to them and love to dance and play their unique musical instruments. Our young artists will take us to experience some of their fascinating characteristics. The first ethnic people we introduce today are the Uyghur people who live in Xinjiang, the far northwestern region of China. It is a beautiful place with vast prairie lands and productive basins. People grow fruits and grains, raising cattle and herding horses. The best watermelon and grapes in China come from this area. Uyghur girls all have long braided hair and wear long dresses with bright colors. They are beautiful and warm-hearted people. When they dance, their dresses stretch out like a flower in the fast-paced music, displaying their beauty and elegance fully. Uyghur boys, on the other hand, wear long gowns, and when dancing, they stand straight and tall, moving steadily with a drum in one hand. This dance, Lift Up Your Veil, integrates the humorous style of Uyghur dramatic sketches, expressing the warmth and passion of Uyghur boys and girls yearning for love. You can sense their beautiful dreams and hopes for future in their dances. Please enjoy it.
seen a little of the Uyghur people in the northwestern part of China. Now let's go down to the far southwest part of China. Yunnan, a province close to Vietnam with tropical plants and animals that has more than 25 different ethnic minority peoples. Our program will firstly introduce you to one of them, the Nazi people, who like to wear short shirts and long skirts because it is more convenient for their life and work in the wooded areas of their lands. The Nazi people's New Year is the eighth day of the second month of the Chinese lunar calendar. All Nazi people will go out to an open space and celebrate by playing games together and meeting friends. After supper, they will sit around a bonfire and keep celebrating. Girls will dance alili around the bonfire, conveying their tender feelings to their beloved ones. Now, let us join these lovely people and join their passion and happiness. Please enjoy the folk song, Yunnan Nazi Bonfire. Thank you. 
you're going to put on is specially prepared for you, our American audience. The piece was originally composed by a renowned American country musician, and we have adapted it into a version which can be performed on traditional Chinese musical instruments. This new version displays the particular timbre of Chinese folk music, yet retains the flavor of American country music of the original. We hope that the friendship between America and China can be kept friendly and harmonious despite of the different cultures we have, like the elements of this song. Now please enjoy the traditional Chinese version of the song, Country Road. Mongolian, 
the delusions of the Uyghur, the romance of the Nazi people, and many other ethnic groups combine to express the united Chinese spirit in different manners in this dance. Please enjoy the group dance of Splendid China.
The joyous music has brought us to the end of our performance. We may speak different languages, but art sets no boundary between nations. Music and dance are always the best way to transmit feelings and meanings from one culture to another. We sincerely hope that you enjoy today's performance and have enjoyed this journey through China's culture. Short though our show may be, our friendship will never end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your appreciation. Wish you a good day.